came because there was something in their heart. The real jealousy and the real envy is what's been in their heart. I guarantee you, hey, let Ringo say whatever the hell he want, but I guarantee you won't get his black ass out of that damn city and move to that community. I'll wait for that day. What I see is jealousy. What I see is a man who is not really satisfied with all of his accomplishments. You're hurt because you're jealous. You're jealous because you couldn't believe that me and Brother Newbreed was actually on the land speaking to the people. And you understand that we're influencers. So you know we have a greater reach than you. The one thing with all this fluff that they're, that they're doing out there and all this selling that they're doing, all this snake oil salesmen they're doing, they're not accounting for the human dynamic that you will be faced with when you live on community. You will be faced with that human dynamic. They're trying to divorce that like as if it's not real. That's because you have no wisdom. You have no experience. You have no knowledge. You have no understanding. So what in the world are they going to do when it, when all Sam's hang days come and one of these witches want to uh, dance around a bonfire butt naked and play loud music at 1 o'clock in the morning you trying to get some sleep? You're going to call the housing authority? And they go, hey, I'm telling you, this is nonsensical. This is doomed to fail from the very beginning because it makes no sense. You're sleeping with another man's wife and you're hating on brothers that are building community. I mean, how much hate and evil you're going to pretty much portray. You got to make up your mind, sir, to repent because it's not going to be good for you. I see that you're aging pretty fast. You're getting a lot of stress. I want to know how long those field lines are going to be for that shower house. That's what I want to know. And you imagine trying to get all these people from different walks of life. They're trying to come out here. That's going to flush that feminine hygiene down to 70 cents because they don't care about your rules, your regulation and stuff. They ain't going to be there doing that paying two to three hundred dollars a month to rent and live there. Recently, Ringo TV and New Breed claimed that Dow is jealous of their land initiative, which is in its preliminary stages, that used reverse psychology and gaslighted the mindless herd that foolishly support these heathens. In reality, it's the other way around. Ringo TV and New Breed are jealous of Pastor Dow. Proverbs 24, 19 says, Do not fret because of evil doers. Do not be envious of the wicked. For all his faults, Dow is not envious of Ringo TV or New Breed. Now, I chose to feature Dow because he has way more material things than these men. So when he comes out and criticizes what they're doing, supporters of this land initiative can't say he's a hater. I strongly believe. If Dow had never evicted Rufus, there would not have been a battery in New Breed's back to launch the land initiative. So the whole idea stems from covetousness. I think it is interesting how Dow was able to point out the structural flaws of the land initiative and give you an idea of how much time, money, and resources it takes to build a community. Now be mindful that Dow's testimony is a witness against him because a real man of God needs to reserve his strength to understand the word of God. But scriptures do say that when Christ was speaking about the Pharisees, he said they have their reward. Okay, and as I've stated in previous videos, Dow's kingdom, the kingdom of straightway, is his reward. I actually have a history, a small history with New Breed. He's been on Spiritual Combat, my show before. And uh, he told me he was going to come speak at this event we were doing, uh, the Atlanta Dry Bones Rising event. And at the last minute, he canceled out and said he didn't know how it was going to affect his brand. And he said he could do it if we were willing to give him an honorarium. An honorarium is money. I'm beginning to discern that this, this dude is about money. Of course, he's all about money and building his own brand. New Breed and Ringo tried to play both sides, rebuking Dow for his adultery. But when questions were asked about the morality in this initiative, they don't want to talk about religion. OK, now all religion means is what you practice. So if they don't want to talk about religion, then they have no business exposing Dow's adultery. They were just using that as a talking point to tear down his business to build their own brand, period. They said they was out there with boots on the ground. I saw uh, Jordans with cellophane on them and ten tennis shoes or whatever it is, but I didn't see no boots on the ground. Uh, this is what boots on the ground look like. 
These are my boots right here. That's what boots on the ground look like. This is what Ringo TV shoes look like with boots on the ground. <laughs> this is my son Jordan's right here, and he had these cellophane around and stuff because he didn't want to get his J's dirty. Now, I'm going to ask y'all a question out of, out of a real true heart. Do you really truly believe that somebody like that is going to build anything? No, I do not believe that. Unless he joins the Masonic Brotherhood and they dump about $50 million into the construction of this initiative. But they would only do that for someone who has real influence. You think about someone like Umar Johnson, who is very polarizing. But he failed to build a school for black boys for several reasons. And this situation reminds me a lot of Umar Johnson, but there are their differences. Number one, Umar Johnson collected over $1 million and he intended to build the school for the sake of his own ego. But he underestimated the operational cost. Secondly, I do believe the Masonic Order would have made a deal with Umar, but he was so determined to keep the school black owned. Also, Umar Johnson used to be very active in the black community, so his cachet went beyond his subscriber count. Because I can tell that Ringo TV and New Breed are just counting their subscribers, saying, well, you got 150,000, I got 180,000 subscribers. Let's get our people together and build something. No, it doesn't work like that. Okay, a lot of those subscribers are crossed over from them subscribing to each other's channel. Their supporters are a part of each other's channel. And to do something on this magnitude, you need boots on the ground. You need to be more active than just being on the TV screen doing live streams okay but even with umar johnson his initiative was clear from the start it was by blacks for blacks and he was the head negro in charge but what is presented with ringo and new breed is a host of characters there's too many unknowns and it's very vague in addition to that and most importantly it's against the will of god that they don't want nothing to do with the, the laws and the commandments of God, they don't want nothing to do with religion. They want to be able to create a community and an environment where all people of all different backgrounds and all different faiths are welcome. Now, I'm going to ask all of us something. Those of us who have morals and standards, are you sure you want to be able to live in a community to where you may have your neighbors may be homosexuals or lesbians or Satanists or wizards or witches? Um, they may be people who are pedophiles who believe in all different extremes of alternative lifestyles. Um, they're talking about bringing all of these people together. These people purchase land, that's what they say, or either rent land, and we all are going to build because we, they say that we all have a like mind. You can't have a like mind unless you have an outline and a plan that defines what that mind is. It has to be definitive. They're not being definitive. What this is called, this is called Satan's agenda or called the ecumenical movement, where they actually have all these faiths get together and we all agree and we all agree against the creator of the universe because we're trying to build something like they did of old. Remember, it's nothing new under the sun. Remember what the Most High God said when he looked to the uh, the angels and he says, during the Tower of Babel, they said, if we leave these people alone, they would do this. They would literally build this thing all the way up to Shemaim. These people are trying to do something that functions independent of Yah. I agree. Well said. These men are double-minded. They don't know to call it Black Wall Street or inclusion for everybody. The fact that a number of ideas have been floated out there and they have taken no stance for Yah, that gives an indication that this will be a rainbow community. If you hear in these videos, you hear people say, we're going to make an RV park. You hear them say, we're going to make an RV park. So consider this. Consider people, consider this ministry, right? Who is knee deep in when it comes to deliverance. Can you imagine just letting anybody rent something and come on your land where you live? Do you know the amount of demons that you are letting right in your gates? An RV park. We're just going to rent it out. Well, Ringo TV himself is full of demons. This guy thinks it's okay to pursue underage girls. And he was promoting R. Kelly, saying that R. Kelly did nothing wrong. 
And he's one of them dudes, when he exposes someone like Dow, he's long-winded and full of details. But when someone brings strong evidence against him, he misdirects, parachutes, and gets very vague instead of confronting the evidence head on. I mean, he talks in circles directly to the viewer using public witchcraft as though they ought to put themselves in his shoes. Clearly, Newbreed and Ringo are just attempting to set the stage for depicting themselves as the victims, void of any accountability. Therefore, if you call them out on their false doctrine, they'll label you as religious. And if you're critical of their hypocrisy and covetousness, they'll label you as a hater. Nonetheless, by their fruit, you shall know their deeds. Personally, I believe Ringo TV and New Breed can care less whether or not the land initiative is a success or failure. They only desire to shape the narrative for an illusion of progress. They just want to have enough people give them a substantial amount of money. Then I can see Ringo TV doing like a 10 part series on the loud noise in the RV park. Or he may even find a more efficient way to produce content while still being a hypocrite. <laughs> I mean, at some point, Ringo TV and New Breed will turn the scriptures on the Gentiles who take over that community. Because eventually, I believe that will happen. And after that, they'll shape the narrative however they please. You look at Ringo, he just lost his day. He don't even believe the bullshit. Just look at his face. He just said, <laughs> he looking like this in the mirror. <laughs> he said, I'll be damn well with <laughs> I mean, that will move my ass out of here. <laughs> in a damn shed. Ball on the side of the road. Look, Ringo ain't going to give up all them Jordans. He's not going to give up all them Jordans, man. With cellophane on and to keep her from getting dirty to get out there and put his boots, literal boots on the ground, brother. This is what Pastor Dow boots look like. Look at them. That's Pastor Dow boots. Look at them. Look at them. And this is what your hands going to look like. Your hands don't look like that, Ringo. Why you said about punching keyboards, man? Well, the joke is on whomever why to see their silly behinds down to North Carolina supporting this foolishness. If you stand for nothing, you will fall for anything. Ringo TV wants to continue making his live streams, but he don't want to get his hands dirty. He not about that country life. Build a black Wall Street could easily cost well over a hundred million dollars. Now you're talking about white people money now, because out there is quite different from the metropolitan land space. There aren't any sewage departments, streets and sanitation. I mean the foundation, the earth's foundation there, if for water supply it must be discovered. So then people are gonna charge for their time to drill into the earth. Most land initiatives are sanctioned by federal banks. Those guys have access to the money printing machine, and they can use it at will. But the average Joe is going to spend a lot of money on discovery, or he'll have to do the dirty work himself. And we all know they don't want to do that. For the yeah. Those are 250-gallon tanks. So like yeah. I said, that's 500 gallons between the two. The amount of time it would take actually get through all of there mm -hmm. as well as it going out to a leach field mm -hmm. which is which is going to help keep that that keep, keep, keep the um yeah, yeah. The, yeah. yeah. i was actually looking at, at a similar system that was using uh uh, uh five buckets so once that first one fill and it filled the next stop that damn rhetoric and bullshit man that's all there first of all number one that damn bladder tank ain't big enough to do no damn leaching at all and then that woman the same woman is trying to set up and blow all this damn hot ass smoke up y'all damn hindquarters <clears throat> about what it's going to take to be able to do a shower house she never addressed that at all She's telling y'all to do something that her fat ass ain't going to do her own damn self. I promise you that. And they don't know the damn difference between gray water and black water. They don't know the difference. What's the difference between gray water and black water? They never address who's going to build it, who's going to do what the damn plumber didn't say a damn word because he probably he never seen the damn building or the idea that they're doing in himself. Leach field? What the hell are you talking about a leach field if you got a septic system? What the hell are you talking about a leach field? Where's the gray water going? Where's the black water going? And if you're going to take multitudes of well, you only need one well that can run three or four shower houses, especially if it's a well that's giving over 30 gallons a minute. You need a bigger ass bladder tank. That's what you need. You need a bigger ass bladder tank. You need somebody to know how to build, somebody to know how to plumb, somebody to know how to roof and run the electricity. That's what you need. You need to know how to be able to separate the gray water from
from the black water. The black water is called shit and piss. That's what that's called. The gray water is called you when you wash your dishes, wash your hands and your ass. That's what that is called. Man, these people are, I'm telling y'all, man, these people that are telling and you're watching these ignorant, dismal, ignorant, melanated people out there co-signing doing this. Look, look, they all doing this bastard. Look. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they're doing like this. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all, man. The reason I say it may cost at least $100 million is because of the vision or the limited information that Ringo TV provided saying that he would like to build a building where a studio space could be rented out and also he would like people to build businesses on the land. So I don't think he intends to live on the land, but it costs a lot of money to industrialize land in a country space and provide water and electricity to all the land space. It is his warning straight up. Okay, let's talk about what we just saw, okay? They told us it's gonna take a couple wells. You know how much a well cost? Yeah, more than fifteen hundred dollars. He said a fifteen hundred dollar yeah. pump. You got a truck that weighs at least fifty thousand pounds. They gotta come down and drill. And they say, Oh, we can just put the wells first of all, or we can just pick the area. First of all, what happens if it ain't no water there? And they gotta go down, guess what? Just like just say cha ching every the more feet that they go down per foot. Cha ching, cha ching, yeah. what if they don't strike water? Mm -hmm. What about straight water? You're talking about a shower house, and, you, and, and the guy asked about a septic system. What kind of system you gonna put in? There you go. You gonna do an old system? You gonna do infiltrators? You are gonna do a Presby system? What si what type of system you gonna put in? How do you know what size tank you need for the system? What happens if you you better hope you're running downhill? Look like it's flat land all over there. So when you put your leach field in, what happens? You gotta have to know how to put a pump in, so you can get your black water to your septic system. That's even if you divide them both. There's so much stuff to go into this, and then they gotta ask yourself the question. Because I know we speak in Chinese. This is what I'm telling you. Y'all better co listen to this stuff. And then you got to ask yourself this. Okay, well, we just going to hire out to do it. You better say at least 25000 immediately. Just for the septic. Just for the septic system. To have somebody else do it. Getting it in. I'm telling y'all. Y'all better not fall for this rhetoric. That these men are out here. Uh, hey, take the warning. Y'all can say we hating all you want. But I'm telling you right now. Somebody that will listen is, and the people that won't. Y'all go out there two, three years from now, and y'all wondering what in the world that I was doing. I heard that broadcast, and I should have listened. I should have listened. I'm telling y'all, that man, she said a $1,500 pump. We're going to put the pump in. You got to drill a hole. Boy. <laughs> then you got to run the line and no telling how deep the line is. Then you need a pressure. Then you need a pressure valve. Then you need a bladder tank, and you can go on and on and on. How big is the bladder tank and all that? How big is the septic tank? Because the septic tank is all predicated upon how many people that are using the septic tank. And what are you going to do then? If you undersize it. Then you're going to have a problem with overflow. You're about to call out Jetro to come and pump the damn tank, which is designed to be pumped every three to five years. You got to bring your ass out every three months because too many people are pooping and shitting and pissing. You better not ask for a concrete tank. That's a whole lot more. Hey, then the man had the reserve tank outside sticking up out the earth. The reserve tank was outside with blocks in it. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Hey, man, y'all been listening. Y'all better listen, man, straight up. This is to help y'all. You better listen. But see, this is the problem. When you, you got all these words, good words, fair speeches, you deceive the heart of some. You have all these words, no experience, no knowledge, no understanding. And, and listen, I know it. Listen, we get passionate about telling y'all this because you know how many years it takes us to learn this? You know the experience? Pastor Peter's not finished telling you. We've been out there all damn day. Pastor Corey said, we've been out there all night with my sons. We just, we getting it done. We are burning the oil. They're burning the oil that I used to burn 20 years ago. They're burning it because they're getting these communities started. Man, these melanated folks with their cellophane Jordans and stuff, man, they ain't going to sit out there and get out there and get their hands dirty to get this done. It ain't going to happen. Mm. And New Breed and, and Ringo is in on it because you can look at them and tell them that they ain't going to be out there. They ain't going to live. Ringo is not coming out of that city, forsaking New York to live in North Carolina on a piece of land that he's got to protect his shoes by cellophane. He ain't doing it. He just literally ain't doing it. He ain't, he's a punk and a coward and a liar and an evil beast and a slow belly. He is a Satan himself, a Diablo. He ain't going to do it. I promise you he ain't going to do it. He will not root up his family and get out of New York. I guarantee Exactly. Stop trying to beat Dow at his own game. I stand by what I said about Dow.
he's an adulterer and he needs to repent. I mean, his time spent building straightway led to his adultery. You cannot serve God and mammon. But when it comes to building, he knows what he's talking about. He's been doing this for over 30 years. I've heard people say, well, he has people building for him. And yes, I understand I did a video talking about satanic employment, how he's ripping the people off. Okay. But that's their prerogative to accept those terms and conditions. In addition to that, how long do you expect a 57 year old man to do all that work by himself? I mean, even at the age of 45, that's too much. The late pastor Stephen Darby, who was a real man of Yah, he passed away at the age of 45. And he said himself that he needed a Joshua and a Jethro. Okay, he said that in his video titled Two Pairs of Jays. The word of God itself is a burden. And Pastor Darby certainly had the word of God. He was anointed. But he did a lot of building all by himself. And I believe it took his toll on him. Even Rufus said he told one of the brothers at Straightway that if they take on building a new community and there are new additions to the family at the age of 50 years old, Rufus said it will be the death of him. Okay, so I don't think it's fair to criticize Dow for having other people do the work for him. That's a lot of work to do. And I think Ringo TV and New Breed are just on the outside looking in. They have no idea what they're getting themselves into. But again, most importantly, they're trying to do it without the most high. And that's where my criticism comes from. All right? Don't let your flesh write checks. Your soul cannot cash in the afterlife. It's all about fates and gates. You got to have faith and you're going to need God's grace.